Hi, my name is Graydon Blair from Utah Biodiesel Supply and it's time for a biodiesel update. I know it's been a while, so I apologize, we've been real busy. Uh, over the summer, we went to a biodiesel conference, and which if you've been watching our YouTube channel, you know about because all the videos are now posted there. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about that, you can visit the website, uh, collectivebiodiesel.org, where we have videos and the presentations from many of the um, people that came and presented. I even presented as well, and you can take a look at that if you want to, but it was a really, really informative conference. It kind of gave us an idea of where biodiesel is going. Um, it slowed down, and the feeling at the conference was that biodiesel in general has slowed down a little bit as well. However, on the commercial scale, I think it's taken off, which gets us to our next point. It's time for all the biodiesel pricing updates. Um, to give you an idea, Yellow Grease, I've talked a little bit about in some of the past updates, is running as of Friday, September the 30th, at $3.22 a gallon to $3.26 a gallon. Now that's down from where it's been in the past, and I'll talk a little bit about why I think it's there. But that, that kind of gives you an idea um, of where things are at. Um, biodiesel in and of itself in the commercial level is going for about $5.40 a gallon to $5.90 a gallon depending on which websites you visit. I like to use a USDA website to run my thing or check my numbers. I'll show you down below. Um, <clears throat> there's this thing called RINs, Renewable Information Numbers, and they basically are a, another piece that I believe has been raising the price of vegetable oil um, across the biodiesel market in general. Biodiesel commercial producers in the United States have two ways or two incentives that they can use to offset the price of biodiesel that they sell to the consumer. First one is a biodiesel tax credit. It's part of a federal incentive program that was put in place several years ago to try and incentivize people to make biodiesel. For every gallon of biodiesel you make, the federal government will give you a dollar per gallon back. You jump through the right hoops, you get registered with the EPA, you do all that stuff, and IRS will kick you back a dollar per gallon for every gallon that you make. Not bad, right? Well. Along comes something else called RINs, which is part of RFS2, which is the renewable fuel standard that the EPA put out. Now, the second RFS2 uh, was different um, in how things were tracked and such, but basically what it mandated was that in the United States we would use 800 million gallons of biodiesel within 2011. Next year it's 1.2 billion, so it's even more. Uh, the way that they track this is through something called a Renewable Information Number, or RIN. How it works is you as a producer can get registered with the EPA. Um, you have to have a third party engineer come out and verify your system making that you're making quality biodiesel. And then you can start generating these RINs um, on their website. So for every gallon of biodiesel that you produce, a RIN number can be tied to it. And that's how the EPA measures how much biodiesel commercially is being produced in the United States. So, along comes the issue that they've got over 800 million gallons of biodiesel that, that the we will, quote, use in the United States. Um, how is that going to happen? Uh, there's mandates put in place that different companies have got to sell that much biodiesel. They have two choices. They can either sell biodiesel or they can buy these RINs from factories that manufacture biodiesel. So Exxon and Chevron and all the different places like this are really interested in buying these RINs um, instead of manufacturing their own stuff. Because we got a lot of biodiesel plants in the United States, why not? And so that's what's happened. Um, so how it works is for every gallon of biodiesel uh, you can generate, that you produce, you can generate 1.5 RINs, okay? and those RINs can now be sold, bought and sold, on the open market. If you want to see kind of what the going value of a RIN is, there's a website, I'll put it right down here, um, biofuelsconnect.com is a brokerage firm that you can buy and sell RINs through. Well, these large petroleum companies don't want to buy like 1,000, you know, just a couple thousand RINs, they want to buy bulks of them. And so these clearinghouses have come around and they will allow biodiesel commercial producers to sell their RINs that are tied to the fuel that they've made and um, they will aggregate them and sell them to people like Chevron and different things like that. Well, we only have about, oh, 500 million gallons worth of capacity in the United States to make biodiesel. There's a problem. EPA says we need 800 million. Low supply, huge demand, price differential in the RINs. So RINs are running and have been uh, historically running 
about a dollar ninety per rin for biodiesel. Remember, biodiesel per gallon is equal to one point five rin, so that's something like two uh, two eighty a gallon or something. It's just some amazing amount. So I've been looking at uh, rins right now. We're dropping down in how much those rins are worth uh, right now, as of today, through Biofuels Connect, the value is one dollar and forty seven cents. Uh, per rin or $1.52 per rin, so kind of an average. Or in other words, for biodiesel, uh, a $2.21 to $2.28 per gallon. So biodiesel producer can do two things on their biodiesel. They can get the dollar per gallon tax credit, which expires at the end of this year. Um, I don't think Congress is going to be is going to renew it, nor does anyone else that I've spoken to. But as of right now, they can get a dollar per gallon on that fuel. Plus, for all the RINs that they sell, they can get $2.21 to $2.28 a gallon. That's $3.21 a gallon for the biodiesel, money that they can get before they've even sold the biodiesel. Not bad, if you ask me, which is obviously generating a lot of interest in biodiesel. Isn't it interesting that the price of waste vegetable oil on the market is sitting right about $3.22 or $3.26 a gallon? Hmm, price of oil is right about what the price of all those incentives are. So basically biodiesel plants are getting that money or that oil for free or close to free um, because the rendering companies are just gobbling up that incentive that was there. That's part of why the price of vegetable oil in the United States shot so high. In some of my other videos I talked about that um, the dollar per gallon tax credit was part of it, but when you add in the RINs, you get a good feel for that. And you can kind of see it in the charts if you visit the websites. Again, the website will be down here. Um, so the status of biodiesel in the United States right now, biodiesel plants can't make enough. And they're making money hand over fist. I talked to one uh, plant uh, in the United States that is netting after the cost over $6 a gallon for the biodiesel that they're making per gallon. Remember, about $3.28 of that is free federal money giveaway, and if you're collecting your own oil, that's some money you don't have to pay to a render. And then on top of that, uh, you can turn around and sell that fuel for $5.40 to $5.90 a gallon. Um, granted, those are retail prices, so it might be less than that, but still, you're, you're making bank if you're a commercial biodiesel producer. Unfortunately, it's hurt the, commercial, the, the small producers uh, that go out and collect oil from the restaurants because you know we can't pay the restaurants two dollars a gallon for their oil and kill us. Some people I've talked to are doing that, but that's that's the realistic. Um, that's really what's going on is these renters are paying the restaurants quite a bit for the oil because they know they can get the money for it if they sell it um, to biodiesel plants. So that's kind of the state of biodiesel in the United States. Again, at the end of this year, I expect the dollar per gallon tax credit to go away. I've seen RIN values dropping like a rock. Uh, about two weeks ago it was $1.90 per RIN. Uh, as of Friday we're $1.47 per RIN. There's a couple things that might be feeding into that. Um, I'm not sure. Some people think that there was a new mandate um, about Canada being able to import more fuel into the United States, United States and a couple of other things. We'll have to watch it and find out and I'll kind of let you know. In other biodiesel related news, some of the new products that we have coming on, we are having a new yellow drum lid, it's a snap top lid that will go right over top of 55 gallon drums. Uh, watch our website for that. Um, it's, uh, it was a request we had, um, they make them for both open top and closed top drums, so that's coming. Another thing, we've got a new drying tank that we have um, started building plans for and will also be releasing as well. Um, basically, it's a very simplified method of building a dry wash tank out of a 55 gallon drum, uh, a one inch pump, and some fittings. Uh, we wanted to keep it cheap and hopefully we've achieved that and you'll, you'll get to see that if you watch the website. Um, we also have a new stainless steel mesh screen. We have wanted one of these ever since we started, and every biodieseler I've ever talked to has wanted one of these. It's basically a screen that will fit down inside a barrel. It's made of all stainless steel. It's got mesh on the side, mesh on the bottom, and it hooks right to the drum so you can pour ta -ta -da, super hot oil through it, which means that you don't have to melt the poly filters that we do carry and have carried for years and years. Um, you can put hot oil in there. Um, I've already talked to a lot of customers. We've had a lot of interest in it. People are already planning on putting it behind restaurants. Um, we'll see how it goes, but that, that is coming. We, the interest was great enough that we're going to build that. Um, also, if you haven't been to our website lately, come and visit utahbio.com and click over on the left hand side on the blog. We have a brand new blog and we have been blogging like crazy. We've been updating it with all the different articles that we've had in our newsletters over the years. I've been feeding brand new customer uh, 
success stories in there, customer pictures. Um, anytime we get new things, we're trying to push them into there. And the reason for that is because in the newsletters, you could print them, but they kind of made a mess and you had to print all the newsletters. In the blog, there's actually a print icon that will allow you to just print that article, which makes it great, which means it'll also let you save it out to a PDF form, which means you can archive it on your computer for future use. So if you get a chance, visit it. It's utahbiodieselsupply.com slash blog. Um, also, if you visit, uh, we've got links on the blog right back to the site. The other thing is we've been updating our Facebook page like crazy, and that again is uh, the website is www.facebook.com forward slash Utah Bio. We've been posting lots of fun articles out there. As I hear about updates on pricing on oil, I post them there. Uh, updates on RINs, uh, cool news stories, any kind of thing like that. Uh, get it, If you do Facebook, stop on by, sign up, and you'll be able to see all the updates. We try and keep that up to date a lot, and we're achieving that lately. Um, that's kind of the status of biodiesel right now. I wanted to keep this nice and short. We'll let her go. But if you get a chance, uh, stop by the website and see the new exciting things that are coming, and we'll try and do more videos. Thanks again. This is Utah Biodiesel Supply.